then the another problem uh, here they said a line ab the line ab 200 meter long laying at an elevation of 500 meter 500 meter measures 8.65 meter on a vertical photograph of which the focal length is 20 centimeter okay they said they determine the scale of the photograph in an area having average elevation of 800 meters okay so what they said there is a photograph as well as the ground and and there is a point there is a line a and b so this a and b is nothing but the a b is nothing but your ground distance nothing but your ground distance and at what elevation that is 2000 meters sorry at 2000 meters at elevation of 500 meters major 6.5 this is nothing but small ab that is nothing but your map distance which is measures at 8.65 meters 565 should be centimeters this should be centimeters okay should be centimeters okay now they are given this data they said the determine the focal length is also given 20 centimeter so determine the scale of the photograph in an area of average elevation of 800 meters so they have given h also at which we need to find out the the, the scale but there is one more 500 meters that elevation is with respect to the elevation of ab so what we'll do is what we'll write down the formula s is equals to that is the scale is equals to map distance divided by ground distance is nothing but your f by h minus h okay so the map distance is given how much the map distance is 8.65 centimeters the ground distance is how much 200 meters the focal length is we have 20 centimeters here the problem is they are not given h they are not given the flying height is not given flying height is not given so what we'll do right now we'll mention only f and this h this h will correspond to the so-called 500 meters which is nothing but the elevation of the ground point okay with this if we calculate h minus 500 is equals to is equals to 20 into 2000 divided by 8.65 centimeters okay so if i calculate this h minus 500 is equals to 4624 centimeters so the h will be your h will be 4624 plus 500 that comes around 5124 meters 5124 meters this 5124 meters is nothing but the flying height now you have a scale at you have a scale at 800 meters so we know that this is 20 centimeters this is 20 centimeters 
H is now we calculated that is 5124 minus elevation is given that is 800. So if you solve this, you will get the answer as 1 centimeter is equals divided by 216.2. Okay. Now we'll see an another concept called as relief displacement. We will talk about the concept called as relief displacement. So this concept will help us to identify the height of the object. I am talking about imagine you have this photograph imagine you have this photograph and your task is to calculate the height of these buildings your task is to calculate the height of this building so the height of this building i may say it is from this corner from this corner till this corner is the height but this is perfectly vertical photograph so what has happened is i am able to see the bottom of the building as well as the bottom of the building as well as the top of the building for all these buildings bottom as well as top both the things are visible now what will happen when you see this concept over a photograph imagine this is my building which has this is the ground i am taking a photo from this corner and my object is here my point o is here so what will happen this if you say this one ray will capture this another ray will capture this i'll get two points this is distance this distance which captures here this distance which captures here is called as relief displacement it's called as relief displacement and this relief displacement will help us in order to find out the height of the objects in order to find out the height of the objects we'll see how it will help in order to find out the height of the objects so this is the point let's say this is the point from where the photo has been taken for the tower whose height is h the bottom of the tower from the datum is denoted as a naught the top of the tower is denoted as a the same thing has been captured over a photograph this is the prospective projection whose principal point is k and it is denoted as a naught the top of is denoted as a while the bottom is also captured which is denoted as a naught then same way this will become f is the focal length this is the point called k and this will be k naught at the bottom this distance will be the flying height while this distance will be h minus h this distance will be h minus h while this distance is denoted as r that is nothing but the radial distance that is the radial distance while in this case also we can define the radial distance of a naught as r naught while the radial distance of a is denoted as a if i want to calculate the the relief displacement then i should calculate the displacement as r minus r naught should calculate r minus r naught but what exactly means by the r and what exactly means by the r naught we need to calculate first when we want to calculate the uh, uh, r and r naught we have a concept of similar triangles so with respect to r with respect to r what we can write down is we can write down this this as ok divided by 
again this o and k i'll be considering okay which is again i can write down as this ok is nothing but f while this ok is nothing but h minus h okay and from with respect to r with respect to r the similar triangle if i consider then this will become r by the capital r now here we are much interested in r so i can write down this formula as r is equals to rf by h minus h same way i'll write down for the r not here what will happen ok by o k not is equals to this is ok is again f and o k not is nothing but h with respect to r I'll write down as R naught by R. So if I calculate R naught, that will be RF by H. Let us substitute these values into this formula. Let us substitute these values into this formula. So what what you will get? If I substitute the values, that R minus D is equals to R minus R naught is nothing but the value of R is RF by H minus H minus RF by H. By this, we can calculate the D by taking LHS. This RF H divided by H minus sorry H into H minus H. But but what is the value of R? If you can calculate from this formula and this formula, this R with respect to R will be R is equals to R. H minus H divided by F with respect to R naught. With respect to R naught, we can see by considering these two that R naught H divided by F. Okay, let us substitute these values these values into this formula these values into this formula once i substituted these values so what will happen that d equals to d equals to r h minus h by f into f this is small mistake here. This is the small h. F h divided by h minus h minus h. So this and this will go. The remains will be Rh by H. F and F will go here. The Rh by H will remain. Same way with respect to R0, if I substitute the value R0 H by F into FH divided by H minus H minus H. In this case, in this case, this F and this F will go. This is capital H, this H and this H will go, will remain is R naught H divided by H minus H. So with this we can find out the 
displacement now we can as i said we can find out the height of the object also now with respect to take let us see this formula if i use then i have a d i have i have a d i have r so this will become like d is equals to r h by h what i can do i can write down rearrange this formula for h that is height of the object h is equals to d h by r so by this formula we can find out the height of the object as well we can find the height of the object as well so this is with respect to the relief displacement and the height of the object okay so in this problem we'll see uh, is that the distance from the principal point to the image of the photograph is given as 6.44 cm so here what they said is uh, let me draw a line this is the principal line this is my perspective projection k okay. and this is my point o they said that there is an object which has been captured from the top in this fashion okay so now they said the distance from the principal point k till the point to an image in the photograph so this is the dimension so now this distance is nothing but our r which we have seen in the derivation of our relief displacement okay this distance is given so this distance they already mentioned as okay now this r is given this r is nothing but r is equals to 6.44 cm okay and the elevation of the object above the datum is given that is our h that is 250 meters what is the relief displacement so what is the relief displacement of the point if the datum scale they have not given a normal scale here we are calculating they have given datum scale that is 1 by 10000 they mention 1 by 10000 and the focal length of the camera is also given that is 20 cm but the formula for the relief displacement is d is equals to r h by h so r is already given by 6.44 h is also given 250 but the height flying height is not given rather they said that they have given the datum scale so i'll write down here the datum scale is equals to f by h this we have seen in the formula so the datum scale they have mentioned given 1 by just datum scale they given as 1 by 10000 okay and focal length they have given that is 20 by centimeter is i'll convert it to meter by h they have given so to find out h i can write down as 20 by 100 into 10 1000 so this comes around the 2000 meters this comes around 2000 meters so now we got the value of h also we got the value of h also that is 2000 meters now let us take this value and input these values into this formula d by r r is how much 6. 44 h is 250 and the value of capital h is 2000 meters i solve this 
I'll get a value of 0 0.805 centimeters. So this is nothing but our relief displacement. This is nothing but our relief displacement. Okay, got it? Okay. In this problem, this problem, a vertical photograph of a flat area having an average elevation of, they said the, the, the flat area whose average elevation that is H is how much? 250 meters. It is 250 meters above MSL was taken with a camera having a focal length of 20 centimeters. So this F is 20 centimeters. A section line AB, section line AB, the AB is capital which indicates this is ground distance 250 meters long in the area measures 8.50 centimeters on a photograph. So this 8.50 is nothing but small ab that is 8.50 centimeters. In the photograph. A tower TB in an area also appears on the photograph. So there is a one tower which appears on the photograph. The distance between the image of a top and the bottom of the tower measures 4.46 centimeters, 0.46 centimeters. Now again, I'll draw a small image here for the better understanding is that this is the principal line. This is the tower which they are talking about. This is my prospective projection from here. I'm capturing. So the top of the tower is also recorded and the bottom of the tower is also recorded. When then the top as well as bottom is recorded, so they said a uh, tower TB also appears in a photograph. The distance between the image top, distance between the image top and the bottom is measures to be 0.46 centimeters. So this is our nothing but the D. This is our nothing but the D. They have given already the D distance, the displacement is measures to be. 0.46 centimeters. The distance of the image of the top of the tower. They also said that there is a distance, another distance, which is the top. Means that this distance is also given, which is called as R. So the R is 6.46 centimeters. R is for determine the height of the tower. So H, uh, sorry, H, not H. We have to determine the height of the tower. Yes, H is equals to how much? We have to find out. Okay. I'll just erase this. Okay. Now, as we have already solved the derivation, so we say that the height of the tower or the height of the object can be measured with the formula of dh by r. So in this, we they have given already r is been given. r is been given. Here the r is present. d is given. d is also given. h we need to calculate. And this capital H that is a flying height, flying height is not given. But they had did, they are given us the scale of the photograph that is the ground distance as well as the map distance they are given. With respect to that, that is nothing but the scale is equals to, scale is equals to map distance divided by the ground distance. is equals to I'll again consider the the so called what uh, datum scale f by h okay so how much is the ground map distance map distance is 8.50 centimeters ground distance is measured to be 250 meters 
focal length is measured as 20 cm and h we have to calculate when i calculate h so this will become h into 250 into 20 divided by 8.50 divided by 8.50 so the h comes to be if i solve this so the h comes to be 8588.2 meters 588.2 meters now i got the value of h here i'll input this value of h into this equation so h is equals to d is nothing but 0.46 into 588.2 divided by r is 6.46 if i solve this i'll get answer as 41 point eight and nine meters forty one point eight nine meters so the height of the tower is forty one point eight nine meters for more such videos on the advanced serving subject you can go to our youtube channel you can like this video you can subscribe to our channel and share among your friends so that everyone will get benefited out of it. Thank you.